to the animator with seven six seven years of experience. To the animator with six and seven years of experience, tries 3D animation for the first time. Technically, it's not the first time I did 3D animation, but it's the first time of the year of 2024. Let me get this out of the way. I'm doing this purely for fun and sharing my workflow on how I did it. If I did anything wrong or you just don't like the way I did it, that is completely fine. I welcome any constructive criticism. You can tell me how I can do better, whether or not you're a professional. Now, I just wanted to use the character that I made for my upcoming assignment and make her do some dance moves to like warm it up for the later future 3D animations. I might even do some facial expressions and lip syncing as well. My next school assignment is gonna require some lip syncing, so <laughs> might as well practice it. Alright, let's go! Step 1. Reference video. Recently, I did uh, get a guitar dance for my assignment, which is probably by the time that I upload this video, I might have not submitted it, but it's like a few days later for to deadline, so might have already submitted it. But now I wanted to do something easier, and I think Cure For Me by Aurora is a perfect specimen. She even releases a dance tutorial, which is the perfect animation reference. The camera is still, the actors have tight clothing, which would be easier to see their body shape and her movement, even though it's dark, but is enough to see how their body weights transfer. Also, who doesn't love being praised by her lovely soft voice once in a while? Very good. Applaud yourself. Oh, shucks. Step 2. Optional. Drink alcohol. Emphasis on the optional. I just wanted to take a sip. <coughs> Holy shit, bad idea. But it can be helpful for step three. I'm fine, by the way. <laughs> step three, film yourself doing the motion. <laughs> you know, our lecturer actually recommended us to drink a little bit of alcohol. No, not that kind of alcohol. Drop it. Drop it. <sighs> At least it doesn't affect me. Because alcohol helps relax your muscles, it can like relax. <laughs> and what happens when people drink alcohol? They become more of themselves because they are less holding back, they're more relaxed, they think less. So perfect. It was the perfect time for you to give it your all in front of the camera for animation reference, which requires not only just acting, but like acting. You need to exaggerate your motions, your facial expressions and everything. You ever see how those professionals do it? The soup, heavy on the joints, change the world. I wish you'd never been bored! Yeah, they can go extreme levels. Caffeine won't work well, by the way, if that's what you're thinking, because it only makes you more nervous. It makes you even more stiff, and especially to your throat. But that's your choice. I personally find caffeine makes me nervous and stiff, so most of the time I go go with beer or this alcohol that I have left over. Han la san. Yes, that's how you pronounce Korean. Step 4. Repair model. I got this model that I prepared myself for the assignments that I did. When I say prepared, I mean prepared. I designed, modeled, Topologized, build a rig by the almighty advanced skeleton number five, and paint the skin weights. Well, more like paint skin. But you don't have to do any of that. You have the internet. There are so many rig models for you to download online. You can use Bony, Tuna, and Max, and maybe the latest edition, Powder. I'm sure some people are slowly starting to get sick seeing that Tuna and Max are used as animation practices all over YouTube. Not that there's anything wrong with it, that is not what I'm saying. It's just been here for several years and it's kind of outdated. We have Powder now, which is a very nice model. It's not the official arcane one, of course. Her name is Tasha, by the way. Say hello, Tasha. Tasha, I'm going to animate you into Aurora's Kill For Me dance. Is that all right for you? You think about it. You don't have a choice. I play with the rig for a while just so I can familiarize myself with the controllers and what they control. For this animation, I think I'm going to switch to IK and FK a lot. Which is basically, if you have any limbs, 
that uh, ever needs to lift off of the ground, you gotta key it to turn into IK or FK. I don't really remember which was which clearly, but all I know is that red box makes you stick on the ground. Ooh. By the way, it can be annoying to accidentally select the faces when you're only trying to select the controllers. So clicking this on the top, you have turned off the function to be able to select faces. A lifesaver you've asked me, Tasha approves. Step 5. Autodesk Maya. Or any other software. You can use any software which you like to use that you're familiar with, as long as it supports 3D rigging animation. <laughs> Again, I'm no professional, <laughs> I'm just more familiar with Autodesk Maya, used by studios that made your favorite movies and shows, like Ice Age, Across the Spider-Verse, The Digital Circus, and many more. I got the privilege to get it for free, because I'm a student, and if you can prove that you're a student to the Autodesk, website they will give you access for free if you don't have any of that you can always just pirate you can try to learn blender i can't help you with that because the only time that i used blender was making a donut and i never touched it again because there's never a chance for me to step six alcohol because it's just about to go down <sighs> It's time to animate. Step 6. Key pose and or blocking. Whatever you like to call it. Which is using the step tangents to make sure all your key poses are correct before you add in the in-betweens. It's kind of just like how you do it into the animation. Which is basically making the animation look like a choppy little fella. But little old me think this is a very easy one to animate, so I just went straight ahead to step 7. Step 7. Spline. I'm just following the professional words on how they used it. Basically, it's adding in-betweens and changing the tangent back to the auto ones. Honestly, I don't know if that's really that really is the case, but hey, I never said I'm a professional here, so take it as you will. Step 8. Fine-tune the in-betweens. You know, adding more keys, and for the follow-throughs, and secondary actions, and facial expressions, and uh, everything else. Maybe even stretch out the face more. <laughs> I really didn't do well on the legs, but I, I don't care. As long as everything feels natural on the upper part, then we're okay. Because eyes are the window of the soul, so sometimes whenever you want whenever you look at something that has a face you always try to see where the eyes are even when there's a monster with eyes that can separate you always look at the eyes step 9 floor and lighting now that you have done the animation it's time to do all those lightings and floors so that you can make the entire video much more prettier you actually should have added the floor in the beginning before you even start animation but i'm just i'm too eager to animate that i I forgot about it. It is an easy dance, so it's fine. Step 10. What? It's time for the next step. Rendering and relax. When you render, you gotta wait. And when you wait, you can relax. And relax is basically drinking alcohol. Still at step 10. Um. If I emphasize how optional drinking alcohol is, did I have it? I finished this in three hours and it rendered for two hours. Now here's the problem. The music is copyrighted. There, it has to be. So maybe we can reveal a little bit with the music on to the portion where I won't get copyright claimed. If you want to see the whole thing, you can always go to my Instagram account, links below, and also maybe Twitter. Have I even uploaded it when I upload this video? Who knows? Just guess you'll have to follow to find out. Any reflections and thoughts? Well, I can always do the link better, but um, this is the first time where I'm switching IK and FK like a lot of time. I'm doing this for fun, so I'm not really so super super eager on making this perfect. But if I wanted to make it perfect, I could always do that. I think I did pretty well for my um, the for the dance move that I made it for my assignments by the way i'm 22 years old i know my limits i know when i'm not drunk or when i'm drunk i can clearly tell i'm still sober it's just that alcohol makes me relax and sometimes when you need to record and you need you want to do something like chaotic of course you gotta relax yourself and i know i still i'm still at home so of course i'm not gonna do things too loudly thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this is not a tutorial I don't think I've ever established that. <laughs> Enjoy a little time lapse of the animation if I feel like it needs some adding to it. I, I'm not sure. Do we still need it? Oh no. Okay. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. bye. Have I mentioned alcohol is optional?